Hello, my name is Erica Ullman, and this is my cat Sheba, who is helping me today while making icing and frosting, and talking about the chemistry behind it. The ingredients for icing it includes one cup of powdered sugar, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and one to three tablespoons of milk as necessary. So to reiterate what ingredients are in icing, there is one cup of powdered sugar, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla, and one to three tablespoons of milk as needed. So now you just start to stir it up and just keep on adding ta uh, more tablespoons of milk so that it will get a glossy look to it. Now a little history about how icing came to be. The first recipe to be documented was in 1769 by Elizabeth Raffold who used icing to put on top of cakes and cookies and other pastries back then. Uh, icing also is glossy and cannot hold shape and is a glaze for cakes and pastries. The chemistry behind the icing are the three ingredients put together. Sugar, which is C, carbon 12, hydrogen 22, and oxygen 11. The milk, which is calcium, and the vanilla or other flavoring that you could put into it. It so far doesn't have a, chem a chemical component name for it. Next up is frosting. The ingredients include two cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of butter and milk each, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Isn't that right, Sheba? So again, there is two cups of powdered sugar, two cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of butter, which is already in there, and now two tablespoons of milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. As that is all getting stirred, the first created frosting was a buttercream recipe, which is actually what we are making right now, in 1915 from Mrs. Fred W. Gurney. Soon after that though, the Franny Farmer created more recipes of frosting in 1918 to 1923, and right after that is, as we all know, is the Betty Crocker frosting. Frosting is thick and gooey and it makes it look very fluffy. It holds shape and is soft to the touch, even creamy, and it sometimes tastes like butter. The chemistry behind frosting is that it has sugar again, which is carbon 12, hydrogen 22, and oxygen 11. Butter, which is calcium plus water, H2O, and sodium, which is Na, and the milk, which is calcium, and vanilla or other flavoring if you choose, which <coughs> it does not have a chemical name for it. Probably you should add some more milk. So 
So yeah, for frosting the two main components is sugar and milk, for it gives it that nice fluffiness. And <coughs> slowly but surely it is coming. And ta-da! There is the frosting and what it looks like compared to icing, which is glossy and liquidy. And yeah, that is the chemistry of frosting and icing. Have a good day now.